where do fonts live in a PDF document? In a PDF document, it's different than on your computer. On a computer, a font is a file, usually a separate file. Uh, there are different types. And uh, if you would go to the font directory on your system, you would probably find some of these icons or something that closely resembles that for true type and type one and then open type fonts. Uh, but that is on your system, and that is not exactly how they are stored in a PDF document. In a PDF document, well, this is kind of a very technical view of a PDF that uh, you're looking at here on the slide. Yeah? And this looks very impressive, but it really shouldn't be. Uh, this is a screen grab of um, a tool that uh, shows the inside of a PDF document, in this case, PDF Toolbox from Callas. And what it shows is at the top of that window is what is called the document root. And this is the, the basic um, object that contains everything else in your document. And if you go through that structure, it's it's very much resembles a tree structure. If you go through that structure, you will see a page definition at some point. And if you look under the line where it says page, you'll recognize things like the media box and uh, the bleed box and an art box. And there is also a section called resources. And resources contains everything that you need to draw a page. So all of the big things that you need, and those can be color spaces, you will find images there, and you also find fonts. So in the resources, in a dictionary that is called font, I have all the fonts necessary to draw the text on the page I'm looking at. And in that dictionary, well, you can see the little arrow there that points to a particular font. And you can see all the information that we have in that font, things like the, the, the name of the font, uh, an avant-garde book in this case, the encoding, we'll talk about that. Um, and you see something called a font descriptor. And in that font descriptor is something called font file three. Now, PDF specification is relatively complex. And so there are multiple ways of embedding a font in a PDF document, font file three happens to be one way of storing the actual font definition inside of a PDF file. So what you're looking at there is an embedded font file. Now, what is the essence of this rather technical screenshot? Well, the essence is that if you have a PDF document that has text, that PDF document also has to have font definitions. You cannot have text on a PDF page if there is no associated font in there. The font might be embedded, it might not be embedded, that is optional, but you need to have a font. And that font will have a number of basic properties that are always going to be there. Uh, things like the name, things like an encoding, all of those kind of things are always going to be there and they are embedded in what we normally call an object, an entity, when we talk about a font in a PDF uh, document. So it's not a separate font file anymore, it is uh, simply a representation of that font in the PDF structure. The font file itself can be there, as I said, but uh, as we saw, there is also a bunch of metadata and that metadata is stored in the PDF as PDF objects. And that is relevant. Remember this, that uh, in a PDF file, not only can you have the embedded font file, but there is also always this additional metadata that is stored in there. When we are going to uh, experience problems in a PDF regarding fonts, then sometimes the problem can be caused by the fact that you have the embedded font file and you have that additional metadata that is stored at the same time as well. That is one potential uh, source of, uh, of problems. <clears throat> 